Hey guys, I got a couple questions for you. Number one, are you tired of just using your average plastic guitar pick that you get at your local guitar store? You know, the ones that come in a bag and they're just kind of boring. You know, you can probably pick your favorite color or whatever, but they're just kind of there. They do the job and you never really think about it. And number two, have you ever wondered about some of these fancy, bougie guitar picks out there and if they really do make a difference, you know, regarding the uh, material that they're made out of, the sizes, the different shapes, and the different types of tips and points they have on them. Does any of that stuff matter? Well, we're gonna go over all of that stuff in today's video about bougie guitar picks. Let's get started. Thanks for joining me for today's video, and for today's video, I will be playing through my Friedman JEL 20 watt and my Mesa 212 cab. I can't show them on screen because when I go to the table, they'll be in the way. You know, the pictures will be in the way. So let's go ahead and go over what I have here on the table. I have some really cool, you know, guitar picks here. I've been using the Gravity Picks for years. In fact, I have my own signature pick with them, which I absolutely love. Great pick. And then uh, this is Howling Monkey Guitar Picks. They're made out of a special tree nut that they harvest. And these are actually very, very cool. And they last a long time. And they have all different kinds of shapes, sizes, and colors. As you can see, they got the hole here for better grip. And then these are Acoustic Attack here. And they have the, uh, you can't see it, I'm trying to focus in on this. So you can see the little dots. So they're raised dots and they help you grip the picks. So that's actually kind of nice. And then these are Bog Street. We're going to go to their website in a minute here. These are nice too. Very nice attack. And they have the hole and it's kind of, uh, as you can see there, I'm trying to focus in on this. See how it's textured? These will not move. You will not have these slipping in your uh, hand at all. These are amazing. And then of course we have the rhombos, different sizes and shapes and all that kind of stuff. So uh, let's go over to the computer right now and uh, check out some of the uh, stuff that they have on their websites. All right, so I forgot to mention these when I was pointing out everything on the table because they're in a little case there, but these are the Wambuka handcrafted guitar picks. I got these on Amazon and I just bought them kind of on a whim. And uh, man, these are freaking awesome. So they're made out of all kinds of different uh, organic materials. They have uh, black horn, transparent horn, white bone, wood, and coconut. And here's all the different picks here. So I think that's coconut. This is probably some kind of horn. This is transparent horn. Um, these are just absolutely amazing. I love these picks. And they come in a really nice... Uh, case as well. So I really like this case. Let's click on this. I mean, isn't that nice? Look at that. They sit in there really nice and it's just like kind of an elegant thing. Here's the other pick. Yeah, this is the one, one of my favorites here. And as you can see, it's indented. So your thumb fits perfectly in here. And then if you flip it over, which I can't do here, but I'll show you on camera, your finger fits right in the you know, the groove on the other side, and these will absolutely not move. So these are awesome. You can get these on Amazon for 49 bucks for the whole, you know, the whole deal. You get uh, five picks plus the case, and they do last a long time, and the feel is really good, and they sound amazing. So I would highly recommend these. I've only had these for a couple weeks, and I've been using them quite a bit lately, and they're freaking awesome. My favorites are... That black one I showed you, this transparent one, and this white one here. So those are my favorites out of there. So let's go ahead and check out another pick company's website. Okay, this next company is called Rombo, and uh, they have a gift box here, and they have a whole assortment of uh, picks here that you can choose from. And the ones that I'll be trying out today are below here. So you got, you got a lot of different ones to pick from here. And you can also get them in different color assortments and stuff like that. So the ones that I have today that I'll be trying are these. These are the diamonds. And you can get a pack of four for 10 bucks. And they do last a long time, so they're worth it. And I'm gonna be checking these out as well. These are the Erebus. Interesting shape. And what else? 
what else? I want to try these too. I didn't order these, but I kind of wish I did now. The Horizons, those look really nice. Uh, 1.4 millimeters. Maybe that's why I didn't order them. I like thicker ones, but uh, who knows? Maybe I'll really like these. Uh, these so far are one of my favorites that I've tried out of all of these, the Jade. These are 2.3 millimeters, and man, what an attack these have. Really good attack. And uh, I love the beveled edge. Very, very fast, very easy to play. And uh, they don't fight you at all, but they have this really nice, sharp attack on them. And they sound great. And uh, I mean, look at that point. Very nice point. And you'd think that they would slip, but they don't. This is kind of a, a not very smooth surface here where your fingers and your finger and your thumb go. So it's, it's uh, pretty, it's not super tacky, but it's not slick at all. So they don't slip hardly at all. So those are nice. And let me see if there's another. I want to try these too. I forgot to order these. Those look interesting. Uh, Prisma, I guess they call them. Oh, these are thin. That's why. 0.8, yeah, I'm not much fun of a thin pick guy. Um, where's the other ones here? Uh, waves, yes, waves. So these I, I ordered as well, and they got the, like the grooves. You know, they said waves, whatever, but they, they don't slip. So these are nice. We'll try these out. There's a different sound with these too. And you're not going to believe how different they are. So we'll go ahead and check those out as well. So now let's check out the next website. All right, so here's Chicken Picks. I'm sure you guys have heard of these guys. These guys are actually pretty cool. They, they make some awesome picks. They last a long time. They have all kinds of different shapes and sizes. Um, the Badass 3 is nice. And the Regular and Light are nice too. And so is the Shredder. These are all really good. And these have their own distinct sound too. They have this really scrapey and like <laughs> my, Chris, my friend Chris calls it tubular kind of sound to them. It's actually very interesting when you're shredding with these. They have a warm sound to them, but they still have some nice attack as well. And they have like a variety set here. You can try all kinds of different shapes and sizes and thicknesses and all that. So yeah, a really cool company to check out as well. Some of their picks are really small, like the super small ones don't really work for me but some people like a super small one so get a variety pack and see what works best for you and then order a bunch of those all right so let's check out howling monkey picks these are really interesting they're made out of tree nuts i think it's a pine tree nut that they uh, harvest there from their country and uh, they have all different kinds of sizes shapes colors everything uh, the ones with the holes in them you have that grip there so that's kind of nice yeah, these are really freaking cool. And it says right here, so what is tagua? It's a nut that grows on palm trees in the rainforest in South America. So yeah, it's just basically a nut that they, uh, it's really hard and durable and uh, it doesn't wear down quickly at all. So yeah, so they have all different kinds of uh, sizes and stuff. And even like with these, with the standards, all of them, they all have like a grippy kind of thing going on here in the middle. So they don't, uh, slip out of your hands so these are really nice and uh lots of different colors and shapes and sizes i mean just you know freaking awesome man and so i like these because they're real sharp and pointy and they got a nice attack to them and you'd think like oh these aren't going to sound good or they're going to feel weird or whatever they don't they they have a great feel to them and they're pretty thick too and uh but not too thick and uh they have a nice sound a nice attack to them so I think you might like these as well. All right, now this other company kind of took me by surprise. This is Acoustic Attack, and these are absolutely amazing. I mean, uh, if you look at the Stealth Picks, they have these, like I was showing you on camera earlier, they got these raised dots on them that make it so that they don't slip at all. And they have different sizes, so you can pick whatever size works for you, and then they have different you know, types, like you have tons of dots here, these uh, ha have like an indentation. So these, it's like an indented. So your thumb and finger fit inside of this indented area and then the grips keep everything in place. So that's also really freaking cool. And yeah, concave, there you go, concave areas. So, and then they have a really nice attack and they're beveled. So there's uh, a nice glide across the string 
and uh, they have a great attack and uh, they sound awesome as well. And these surprised me. I didn't know if I would like these, but these are great. I've been using these probably for the last three or four weeks in our live streams, and I really like these a lot. All right, let's take another look at the Wambuka picks. Uh, I'm going to try to show you the concave area. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of concave there where your, your thumb fits. And then on the other side, I'm trying to show you this. You see that indentation there? Your finger fits perfectly in there. So when you're holding the pick, it fits perfect and it doesn't slip. You got this great, you know, uh, grip on the pick and you leave a little more than what I'm used to, but it only takes me a second uh, to uh, adjust to this and I'm fine. Like typically when I play, you know, guitar, I got a little bit less sticking out. I choke up quite a bit, but actually this isn't bad. You know, this, this works pretty well for me. Uh, and, and I adjust to it really quick. So let's, let's just play a couple riffs with this one and uh, see how I like it. And I'll just tell you what I'm experiencing with it. Yeah, these these are awesome, man. I highly recommend these. I mean, they're really classy. I mean, look at that case, you know, really freaking cool. And I don't know if you can order just all of one or if you have to get the variety pack, but whatever, you know, really, really cool. Um, I like this one too, this clear one, transparent, whatever you want to call it. I think it's called transparent bone, but you can see the, the grooves on this as well, I think. I don't, yeah, look at the indentation there. Your finger fits perfectly in there. They're very comfortable. Let me try this one real quick. Oh yeah, shred test, absolutely beautiful. Very comfortable, I really like these a lot. And I know this sounds weird, but you know, get up in the morning, grab your coffee, whatever, play your guitar, and you open up this fancy case here, you know, and you pull out one of these organic picks and you know, they feel great, they sound great. It just adds this nice bit of class to it, you know. So uh, let's switch over to the uh, Howling Monkey tree nut picks. Uh, let me start with this one and uh, tell you what I'm experiencing here. Yeah, these are great too. Uh, let me pick, let me get this one here. This has that grippy, I'm trying to keep the camera focused here. I don't know, sorry. It's focused on one thing. So anytime I bring something too close, it gets blurry. Let's try this one out. <laughs> Yeah, very comfortable as well. So this is kind of how I'm holding this one. You know, I don't know if that helps you, you know, but it's nice because you, your finger and your thumb kind of dig into that, I'm off camera, sorry, dig into this area and it's, and it's very texturized and they don't slip at all. So you're not gonna drop that pick, period. You just won't. This is pretty much the same thing, it's just, colored you know let's just try it I think it's a little smaller too let's try this one mm -hmm. 
Wow, that's very nice as well. Let me show you something too. Uh, let's go over to the Rombo picks and uh, let's grab this one right here. This is the Waves pick. And uh, this one here has the, I guess the little waves in it that helps it um, not slip. But this, look at the tip on this one. It's kind of rounded. It's not as pointy. I apologize for the camera here. I'm trying to do the best I can. So yeah, there you go. So see how that's kind of rounded and then the gravity pick and most of the other ones are more uh, pointed. Let me show you the difference in sound that you get out of a rounded tip here. Check this out. You hear how there's a lot less attack? Let me do that again. All right, so let me grab a pointier one. I'll grab this one here, the old tree nut pick, howling, howling monkey, and uh, let's hear the difference. All right, one more time. Way more attack with the pointier pick. So uh, as much as I love the Rombo picks, uh, this particular one doesn't really work for me because it's too round and it doesn't have enough attack. And actually you even notice it when you're playing um, you know, just some regular riffs. So I'll go ahead and uh, grab the Howling Monkey again. And I'm gonna start with the Rombo uh, Waves pick with the rounded you know, tip and just play some riffs and you'll hear a difference with it. Yeah, the chugs are much more aggressive with the pointier pick. So when you're picking out picks, I mean, if you're playing metal and stuff like that, you probably want to go with something with a nice point and that has a, a scrapier kind of uh, material because it gives you that edge, that attack, and that really nice grind. Uh, and, and I don't know, it just does something. Like these uh, gravity picks here, see how it's got the, the edge is kind of... The bevel, see how it's a different color? Well, that's basically, it's roughed up. They sand them and they, they put like a grinder on them and, and they make them really rough. So they give you that, that uh, it's, they call it the master finish. And it's got this, this edge to it and this, this kind of grind and scrape to it. That's really nice. <laughs> Yeah, these definitely are amazing. I've been playing these for years, and uh, I believe, you know what? I didn't go on their website. Uh, let's check out their website really quick. All right, so here are the Gravity Picks, and they have tons and tons to choose from here. Uh, they have a nice case, with this nice display case here. I have one of these, and these are, <laughs> it's just really cool. Uh, so you get that. Uh, you have speed bevels. That's really nice. Uh, there's a video here showing the speed bevel, bevels and you can see like how rounded they are. Look at that. So that gives you a nice glide, you know, isn't that cool? So I like that. And uh, so let's see here, you can even customize your picks. You can have anything you want on them, you know. And you can get these different grip holes. You know, you can get multiple ones. Uh, you can get a big round one, the Eclipse. So you got all these different holes that you can get in the picks to uh, make them more grippy for you. And then here's all the different sizes and shapes, you know. 
So that's cool. You get different thicknesses that you want and different colors down here. I mean, it's really cool, you know, really, really cool. And then here's where you pick your uh, polished or unpolished, which is the master finish, which is what I prefer as far as your beveled edge goes, because I want that scrapey sound. And it really does matter. It makes a difference. Um, and there's one other thing I wanted to show you here. Where, oh yeah, the stripes. These are kick-ass. So these stripes actually have texture to them. So these will uh, also not slip as easily because you got those textured stripes in them. So also very cool. Uh, like I said, I've been using their picks for years and I think they're amazing. So very, very nice. I mean, there's not a shape or size or thickness that they haven't thought of here. So I would say uh, give these guys a try as well. Now, one website I didn't go to, and I apologize for that, was Bog Street. You've probably seen these on Facebook. They're all over Facebook all the time, along with Acoustic Attack. But these picks are awesome. They will not slip at all. So, and you got three sides, so that's nice. If one side wears down, just switch to the next side. And these sound great, and they're uh, very ergonomic and uh, the feel is amazing. So let's just do a little test with these as well. So I would definitely recommend the Bog Street picks as well. These are really cool. Like I said, uh, they're different, you know, because you got the, you know, the uh, the triangular whatever kind of look to them. But that textured center, you know, that textured area around the hole definitely keeps the pick in place, and it's it's very nice. But this one here, I've really enjoyed. This is the Jade by Rombo, and these are really nice. Really nice point. And I'm trying to like show you guys this stuff on camera, but my, yeah, I got to fix this camera and get it to focus better. So anyways, very, very cool. And these, these don't slip very easily at all. I've been using these. In fact, the last two live streams, I think I used these and these are great. Let's do a little thing with these too. <laughs> Yeah, these are really nice. I really like these a lot. These are awesome. And this shape here is pretty interesting. Kind of looks like a stealth fighter. You know, let's just try this out really quick. All right, so the point on this, obviously, I'll show you, is not as pointy, I guess, as the, uh, the jade. So it's a little smoother, a little warmer, but it's not as round sounding as this one here, which is the waves. So this, you know, maybe depending on your taste would work for you, but if you're a metal player, probably not. I'd say this one or this one. I say this one would be better though. And then you have this one, which I forgot the name of this, but you can see it on the website. Uh, you know, go back and refer to that, but this one's actually pretty cool as well. Let's give this a quick run.
yeah, these are uh, these are nice too, and they have a bit of uh, a I don't know if you want to call it textured or whatever. There's just some elevated areas here that kind of keep it so that it doesn't slip as well, you know. And then the chicken picks are also really nice. This is, I believe, the standard or the shred. I think this is the shredder. And these are cool too. They have a warm sound to them. So let me compare the chicken pick to the jade. I'll start with the chicken pick and then I'll play the jade afterwards and see if you can hear the difference. There's a slight difference. Uh, you got that like kind of tubular warmer sound with the uh, the chicken pick. I don't know if you're going to hear that on YouTube with the compression, but I'm telling you, there's a difference. They're warmer and there's it's like this hairiness to the, the notes. It's kind of weird. Uh, so I really like the chicken picks as well. Very cool. And uh, I'll try this. Uh, I think this is the badass too. Now this shape, it's like a triangular, but it's a little rounder. You know, but it's not as, as round on the end as this Waves one. So the, it's it's kind of an in-betweener, you know. So let's try that real quick. Yep, there it is. There's that tubular thing. It's this one that does it uh, big time. It's... Uh, Definitely pretty obvious here. That was a little out of tune there, sorry. Um, just trying to get this video done quickly. It's just, it's about guitar picks, you know. I'm not trying to get too elaborate here, but I, I think you guys should definitely try these, man. I mean, seriously, they're really cool. All of these picks are cool, you know. Some you're going to like better than others, but they have a lot of deals where you can just get these in a variety pack and just try out things, and I guarantee you this, you're probably going to like them a lot better than the cheap plastic ones that you get at the store, like the Dunlops and all that crap. These are worth it, and they do last you longer, okay? So let's try this Bermuda or Jazz or whatever the hell this thing is. This is the triangular-ish one. I get all the names mixed up. This is the Chicken Picks. I'll try this against something with some, oh, Acoustic Attack. Let's try that. So I'm going to start with the Chicken Picks pick. And then I'll switch to Acoustic Attack and see what the difference is here. Yeah, there's more attack with the Acoustic Attack. And there's a warmer, kind of tubular, hairier sound with the Chicken Picks, uh, Bermuda or whatever the triangular one is. So. Very cool. I, I do like all of these, and I like the classiness that you get with all of these. Now that I've made a mess on my table, I'm going to show you. So, like, with the uh, Howling Monkey picks, you can get this, you know, this little case. You can put them in, you know, and keep them in there. So that's, that's nice. And then, of course, with the Wambuka, you got this case, which is really classy, you know. That is freaking awesome. And then with the uh, gravity picks, of course, you get this case, which is also really classy, you know. So really cool stuff. You know, I think uh, any one of these brands is worth trying out. And I, I know for a fact that you would like these better than the stuff that you've been buying at the store, the Dunlops and all that. Nothing against Dunlop picks and all that, but uh, there is a reason why these boutique pick companies exist. It's because they make a better product and uh, I think they sound different and in a lot of ways they sound better. They last longer. They really do. They're made out of better materials that last longer and sound better. And they have better ergonomics. They, they stick better, you know, in your fingers. I mean, they don't slip as easily. Um, so uh, give any one of these brands a try. I'll put links in the description of this video to all the picks that you saw here. And uh, I'm not getting paid for this. I just bought these with my own money and figured I'd do a video about it because I thought it would be fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks to all my Patreon supporters and subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. And thanks to everybody who's been purchasing my preset and profile packs for Quad Cortex, Kemper, and Tonex. I really appreciate you guys. 
And, uh, you know, I, it really does go a long way to keep the lights on here, literally. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and click that bell so that you don't miss any of the episodes I have coming up in the near future. I got a lot of great stuff coming up for you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.